The word, the word solstice comes from the Latin where sol means sun, and sister means stop. A solstice occurs when the sun seems to stop moving away from the equator and starts traveling back towards it. The date celebrated are usually around the 21st and the 20th. As the Earth travels around the sun, seasons change because the Earth tilts, as you see in your diagram. As the Earth moves on in its orbit, the sun appears to move higher and lower in the sky. At midsummer, the sun, at its height of its strength, and Earth is as close as possible to the sun. Popular mythos or background. Summer solstice is at least 10,000 years old. It is the primary festival of the horn god, the descent of the god and the goddess. A little bit of background. Letha, an ancient dramatic name for summer and the time to celebrate is warm. With this Sabbath, we are reminded that all things in this world are transitory. For at the height of its power, day and all that it symbolizes becomes increasingly subject to the influences of night and the world it symbolizes. As with the other quarter festivals, which is in the wheel of year, I passed out, which is the spring and fall equinox. The main element used is popular custom with fire. Talked a little bit about that. And, that, and as the Wiccan, Wiccan tradition, we really pull from the German, Norse, and Scandinavian cultures for that. Reports of bonfires on hilltops and even in the streets were prevalent during European medieval times. In keeping with the Teutonic magic, water also features prominently in the Midsummer Festival. That's why we brought some water to our ritual. The theme of descent is extremely prominent in the festival as in uh, Greek Persephone descending into the underworld the Egyptian Isis going there to save Oscars. And Wicca, the descent, and this is where we're coming today with our ritual, the descent is our journey into ourselves in an effort to see our inner being clearly and change the things about ourselves that we feel should be different or better. That's the ritual of the burning of our words. Uh, Counterpart, mirror image of summer solstice is the winter solstice or Yule. I've already uh, a little bit about a little bit more about the altar. We talked before the service started about the directions, which we're going to call. Uh, did not say anything about ritual cleansing. We will do. We will perform that with uh, drumming instead of with saging. Usually uh, we use sage, and so does a lot of Native, Native American uh, uh, tribes and spirituality uses sage. But I saw in one ritual where they drummed, and I said, oh, that's really, really good. You know, and it's perfect for our purposes here, so we don't like the sage inside the sanctuary. So the drum, which is, a sac which is uh, my sacred drum, which was made just for ritual, that will do the cleansing for us as we reach lift up our, our prayers. So let's turn to the responsorial, 542. We get together. Again.
May the power of the One, the source of all creation, all pervasive, omnipotent, eternal, may the Goddess, the Lady of the Moon, and the God, the Horn Hunter of the Sun, may the power of the Spirit of the Stones, the rulers of the element and elemental realms, may the power of the stars above and the earth below bless this place and this time and who I am with. Midsummer honors the most complete expression of nature's bounty of light and warmth. With the Sabbath, we are reminded that all things in this world are transitory, for at the height of its power, day and all that it symbolizes become increasingly subject to the influences of night. With the Sabbath, we look within ourselves in an effort to see our inner being clearly and change the things about ourselves that we feel should be different or better. Hail guardians of the watchtower of the east, powers of the air, we invoke you and call you rising sun. Portals of new beginnings hung by the air that is her breath. Send forth your light. Be here now. Be here now. To the south. Hail guardians of the watchtowers of the south, powers of fire. We invoke you and call you, flaming one, spark of life, come, by the fire that is his spirit, send forth your flame, eager now, eager now, to the west. The old guardians of the watchtower of the west, powers of water, we invoke you and call you, rainmaker, evening star, by the waters of her living womb, send forth the flow, be here now. Be here now. To the north. Hail, guardians of the watchtowers of the north, powers of earth, we invoke you and call you. North star, center of the whirling sky, stone, mountain, fertile field, come. By the earth that is his body, send forth your strength. Be here now. Be here now. A lady known by many names, the goddess of both the moon and stars, who rules the planets near and far, who rules the earth and all within, and with her loving touch she gives unto this plane on which we live. Please descend now from above and touch the circle with your love. Join us in this sacred light, right? Goddess, bring your love and delight. To our Lord and God, O Lord, who is known by many names, God of places wild and free, who sow the seeds that we might be, who gives good health and prosperity, 
Who is the sun that shines above? Who warms us with his light and love? Please descend now from above and touch this circle with your love. Join us in this sacred rite. Lord, lend us your power and light. The ritual has begun. The circle is consecrated to the goddess and the god. Here may they manifest and bless us, their children. We stand at the threshold between two worlds, before the veil of mysteries. May the old ones protect us as we walk our path forever. May the bright circle of the golden summer sun we do call you with this sacred blade to guard us in this sacred time and place from all dark and unbalanced forces. Come, all who would help us this day, we give you welcome within this sacred circle in time. Join your desires with our power that we may create and accomplish our magical ends. Our invocation. Gemini to Cancer, the moon becomes the queen. The mighty herd pursues her in the forest dark and green. Summer's bright enchanted work through my will, I know, begins the power that turns the magic mill. And oceans glitter in the heat as passions rise to tide. The oak and holly navigate for favors of the bride. Summer's bright enchanted working of my will, I know, begins the power that turns the magic mill. And fairies dance upon the air, making circles around luring humans to the earth beneath the sacred mound. Summer's bright enchantment working of my will, I know, begins the power that turns the magic mill. Within this magic circle, we cast the time and place between worlds, raising the cone of power. This is the time of the descent. In our path, the descent is our journey into ourselves in an effort to see our inner being clearly and change the things about ourselves that we feel should be different or better with each here ascribed to this paper that's in the leaflet culture. I'm going to recite this. You do not have this in front of you. But these are the words that we're going to recite over your words here. We'll say these words together. I'll say them first. Summer's bright enchantment, workings of my will. Summer's, Summer's bright, bright enchantment, enchantment working of my will. Now with the corresponding elements of water, the marriage of water and fire, I conjure, binding our words of power and working our will and sending forth. As the bees work hard to make the honey, to sweeten our, our food, our lives. May we also be blessed by the goddess and sweet. The magic we summon into our lives will do its work. After me, I'll say, so mote it be. So, so mote, mote it be. be.
We're going to face the north. Be lords of the watchtowers of the north. Be lords of the earth. We thank you for ascending our rights. As you depart, we bid you hail and farewell. Hail and farewell. Hail and farewell. To the west. We lords of the watchtower of the west. We lords of water. We thank you for attending our rights. As you depart, we bid you hail and farewell. Hail, hail and, and farewell. farewell. To the south. Ye lords of the watchtowers of the south. Ye lords of fire. We thank you for attending our rights. As we, as you depart, we bid you hail and farewell. Hail, hail and, and farewell. farewell. To the east. Ye lords of the watchtowers of the east, ye lords of air, we thank you for attending our rights. As you depart, we bid you hail and farewell. Hail, hail and, and farewell. farewell. Thank you, O Lady, for descending from above and empowering this circle with your love. Stay if you will, go if you must. Thank you, O Lord, for descending from above and empowering this circle with your love. Stay if you will, and go if you must. The circle is now open, but never broken. Mary me, Mary Mary me again. So together we would like to recite the closing words. The wheel of the year. Helps us to understand our community participation in cycles varying in many levels of being. Honoring these cycles helps us to harmonize ourselves with the most basic currents that animate our world, our lives, our loves, and to recognize their sacred character. We celebrate the cycles by life.